this is the first of our wild food foraging videos that we promised it would bring you. And we just come out for a walk today uh, with a, a friend of ours, Danny, who's a, a champion tracker, and we hope to get him on camera later as well, hopefully. Uh, but we've come across this. This is wild sorrel. It's um, Oxalis acetosella, is the Latin name for it. And there's, there's three types of sorrel. There's uh, sheep sorrel, common sorrel, and then wood sorrel. And this is uh, the wood sorrel. Now it's identified by having these sort of three heart-shaped leaves on it. And it's got um, a white flower also this time of year. It's got like a sort of purple veins inside the flower. Now, the plant itself is it's it, it tastes great. It's, it's a lovely edible plant. Uh, it tastes quite um, sort of lemony, apple peely, that that kind of taste to it. It's great inside fish. Wonderful. Only downside is you can't eat too much of it because it contains uh, quite high levels of oxalate salts, which it can be quite damaging to the body. But as a, a simple wayside snack or a bit put inside a fish, it's absolutely fine. So that's uh, woodland sorrel. Great to eat. Okay, thanks a lot. See you in a bit. Okay, so now we found uh, the second type of co uh, sorrel, and uh, this one's common sorrel. The uh, Latin name for that is Rumix acetosa. Now, this one here, it's, uh, it tends to grow in uh, much kind of more open spaces, wild fields, that kind of thing, pasture lands, and it's it, it's really really good to eat. So let's have a look at it, a bit bit more close in. And as you can see, the um, the leaves on these tend to be quite long and slender, and they have these sort of backward facing barbules almost. So it looks, I suppose, kind of like an arrowhead in a lot of ways, uh, and then. When it's time for it to flower, they have like long stems with like little red heads on them. So these are, it's a much thicker, uh, more robust leaf than the, the wood sorrel, which is much more tender. And these tend to take better for cooking as well. So with these, you can boil them up into almost like a paste if you like, mix in some uh, sugar or even better, even some honey to, to sweeten it up. It has a quite a a tart citrusy type taste, uh, not not uncommon again to sort of lemon zest, uh, slightly underripe apple peel, that kind of thing. But say so if you mix this up into a paste, add some honey or some sugar, and perhaps spread it on some bannock bread, it, it, it actually makes a really really nice spread. So yeah, but quite a, a, a very tart citrusy taste is the best way to describe it. Now, the, the thing with any kind of wild food foraging is that we're living in a time now where economics are really bad, people haven't got much money, I'm not particularly well paid, but we can go out you know, responsibly into the countryside, gather some stuff, you know, get new tastes in your life, you know, so stay away from the supermarkets and all the, all the mass produced stuff, come outside, none of this is new, you know, this is stuff that our ancestors were, were intimately aware of and they would come out on a daily basis, gather fresh fruits and have what by today's standards would be quite a healthy lifestyle. So, you know, leave the supermarkets alone one day, even just one day a month, one day a week. Come out into the, wild, into the woods, into, into the fields, gather responsibly, don't, you know, kind of over an area, get some stuff, enjoy some new tastes. Um, okay, thanks very much, take care, see you later. Hey folks, well, thanks for watching today. Uh, we've been out in the woods today with uh, a friend of mine, Danny Reid. Uh, we've actually been shooting some videos for him as well on his channel. It's called A, a Journey Into Bushcraft. You'll find it on YouTube. Great channel. Uh, it's going to be doing a lot of stuff on deer signs, fox sign, tracking. It's superb. Go, go and have a look. And so Danny's, Danny's like me. We, we, we're not experts at this. We're just two guys you know, out enjoying bushcraft. And it's not, bushcraft isn't just about having you know, a, a big knife and having a massive fire and you know, knowing a couple of hundred knots. It's about going out and just spending a day in the woods. You know, you, do, you don't have to go for an extended camp. You don't have to carry masses of gear with you. It's just about going out and, and visiting the wildlife that's around you, seeing what's, what's edible, what birds are around. We, we've, we've seen wrens today, uh, bullfinches, bullfinches, owls, yeah. plenty of deer sign, fox sign. It's been a great day. So we're gonna finish off with a quick brew uh, on Danny's homemade hobo stove. Go on onto his channel and have a look at it. It gets a journey into bushcraft. Go have a look, check it out, it's a brilliant site. Okay, cheers Danny, thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you later. Take care, see you soon, bye bye.